I want to do some 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 duels. Let's get it going. It's gonna be cool. We're up against the Golder. Ah, we're up against the Golder, guys. So I've not looked up tricks, and I know I should have. I got taught a bunch of tricks last stream. I haven't looked them up. This looks very UK to me. The Victoria Pub and Restaurant. It looks even more like UK to me. Driving on the left. Yeah, this is extremely uk A11. Don't they use like A's to mark their things in the UK? Yeah, like A50, A1. Let's try and throw them off by putting ourselves down quickly. A12? Oh god, they guessed already. A33, A2. A24, A22, A21. A2. Oh wow, we were on Jersey, <laughs> the old Jersey. At least I won. Well, I mean, I took some points of them. I guess I haven't won yet. In fact, I'm quite far away from having won. Pare, isn't that Spanish? Or wait, is that isn't that Portuguese? And we are in Brazil right now. Yes, I think that's the case. E pronto? Yeah, dot br. We're in Brazil. Uh. I mean, Bristol's so big. Oh, well, I was slightly closer again. <laughs> Let's go. Wait. I can't read that. Art 21. This looks very European, though. I used to say, I saw I said this last stream a lot, but this looks like off Sweden. <laughs> Which makes me think it's... Allevamento di Fauna Selvatica? Oh, Proven Provincia de Venezia. That's Ven Venice in Italian. And this does look like the fields outside. Like, this more looks like the sort of... Although it still looks so northern. Like, northern Europe to me. I don't know. I mean, it's the fields outside of Venice, right? So, yeah. All right. We're slowly winning. We're we're on our way to beating a Golder. A Goldie? Mascavas Yela. Sounds like an Eastern European language. There's a lot of trams in Poland, but that did not sound Polish to me. And this still doesn't look Polish. Wait, Warsaw? That's Warsaw. But the language didn't look Polish to me. But couldn't Warsaw just be Polish for Warsaw? I mean, it's practically the same like in Swedish. It's Warsaw, but not with like regular Vs, but with double Vs, double Us. Double Vs. W's. This doesn't look like Polish. Oh god. Yeah, this still Latvia. LV, Latvia. Let's say we're we're not in Riga. Well, actually we could be. We're outside of Riga somewhere. Let's let's be the first one to guess this time. If my guess actually goes through. You guess don't do me like this. You guess her, please. <laughs> don't screw me over again. I beg you. It's like a bunch of companies that also exist in Sweden. Because it makes sense for like companies to either to expand over the Baltic, either if they originate here or, you know, originate in Sweden. Man, we're smashing them right now. I think it's the healing round now, though, so we gotta get quickly. Yeah. I'm gonna be the douchebag who just goes. <laughs> Tactics, guys. Get paid ev any day? Oh, man. Imagine that. Not having to wait for payday? It's gonna? Oh, they didn't even... They didn't even guess. That's unfortunate for them. I mean, it's not like this is over or anything. That's Kyrillic. It's very Kyrillic. And it's only Kyrillic. There's no Latin alphabet words at all. There's trams, so we're presumably in a big enough city. Could I read something off the... Oh, no, it's Kyrillic! <laughs> I was like, can I read? No, it's Korea. Like, why did you even think? Could this be Moscow? Could this be Moscow? It looks like a gigantic city. And also they have trams. I mean, I was gonna say, it's, could this be like an old Soviet thing? But it doesn't look like it. And also, I guess, a lot of countries in Eastern Europe that could have been applied to. Not necessarily Soviet, but just generally, you know, Eastern Bloc sort of art forms. Okay, I'm gonna say we're in Moscow. And I'm probably gonna regret it, because we're putting ourselves quite far away from other... other densely populated cities with Kyrillic. Like, if this is like Belgrade or, Belgrade or something, then we're in... 
quite a lot of trouble. Oh god. Oh no, I regret this. <laughs> they didn't guess, they've given up maybe. I was like, I got into that and I was like, oh, there's no one here. This is a small city. It looked so big. <laughs> it, it had trams. Why would it have trams if it's that small? Oh man. At least they didn't guess. I think they've maybe gone AFK. They've given up on this. I smashed them so hard to start with. Hessenweg. That's road in Dutch, I think. Veg. Similar to the, to the word for road or path in Swedish. It looks so rural, though. I mean, considering it's the Netherlands, and the Netherlands has more people per square inch than... I don't know. I don't know what the comparison would be. <laughs> More people per square inch than I have brain cells in my entire brain. I don't know. Let's just ignore that. Okay, alright. Well, we were definitely in the Netherlands. Yeah, they've given up. All right. That's pretty good, though. We should get a lot of points for that. We're almost back up to gold! Let's go! Okay, this guy is a lot lower ranked than me. Which means I'll lose a lot if I, if I end up losing. But on the other hand... We might get some points here. Okay, so this is... Isn't that Arabic? And this is... So we're in Malaysia or Indonesia then? And out of those, I would go Indonesia, because it's bigger. <laughs> and I feel like that's... Like, it's, if it's one... Like, if I put myself in, like, somewhere around here... If it's over here or over here, it's not gonna screw me over completely. Yeah, okay. It was not even that far away from Singapore. Where did he go? He got, went to Sri Lanka. Be Bethlehem? De Jong? This looks very Dutch to me. The words themselves. Once again, rural Dutch. I mean, I guess we're last time it was rural Dutch, we were up here somewhere. So let's go around there again. Honestly, I'm not sure this. But De Jong, that's like... Isn't, like, half of all people in the Netherlands named De Jong? <laughs> like, they're either De Jong or they are, like, Van something, you know? Yeah, we were north of Groningen. This looks kind of like... Me oh, I was gonna say Mediterranean. I mean, I can't see anything anymore. Oh, boy. Okay, we're driving on the right, at least. Let's go with traffic, so we can hopefully see some traffic signs. And... Oh god. Is this, is this Denmark? Strasse! Stra Wait, are we in Oslo? Are we in Vienna? Are we in Vienna? Oh god, please don't give me time. Oh no, 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 no! Ah! Oh, we were in Vienna! I didn't have the time to put ourselves in Vienna fully, but we were in Vienna. This looks very awesome. Are we like on top of an old, like, city wall? Definitely looks like it. This looks very touristy. A lot of people are going here. Can I zoom in, please? Palazzo Publico. Basilica del Santo. So it's a basil... It's... That's... I mean, obviously it's already... You already know that. This... But it seems... Basilica... And this seems like Italian. The thing is, this doesn't look like it... Could be Rome. Because it looks... A bit too sparsely populated. Where else would they have, like, a city wall? I mean, probably a lot of places, to be honest. Let's be honest here. Verona. I visited Verona, and they had a lot of... Oh, God, I reckon... That's, like, a regional flag. I visited Verona, and they had something like this. Not exactly like this, but similar-ish. I'm gonna go somewhere northern Italy. Like, there, maybe? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Please close that down. Yeah. We were in San Marino! And that makes a ton of sense, because that was the San Marino flag. <laughs> Which is why I recognized it. Because it's the San Marino flag. Okay, you all know what to do. Oh my god, he should definitely get some healing here. We're we're in Den Haag, we're in the Netherlands. Yeah, he should get a ton of heal. Yeah, two kilometers off? Okay. It's not as much healing as I thought he would get. I guess you can't really get all that much healing. Because it's 0.25, so... This looks kind of Mediterranean. Oh, that's the Montenegro flag. A Montenegro flag. 
Do you say Montenegrin as like an adjective or whatever the word would be in English? Screw it. I mean, at least it's Montenegro. We know that. Please don't know that flag, Mr. Christian Haas. That sounds like a like a like a Danish or yeah, good idiot. Danish or Norwegian name. And we smashed them. <laughs> We absolutely smashed them. We are not in gold though. We're very close. Very close to gold. Please give me a winnable game. I pray. Oh wow, that looks very winnable. Frankston. Melbourne. We're in, the, we're in Australia. Oh god, wait. Melbourne is further up the coast, right? Brisbane. Or... Oh God, I don't know. I don't know the geography of Australia that well. Is Melbourne further down? The yeah, Melbourne is apparently just off the like across the sea from from Tasmania. So Cranbourne, then Den Dan Denong. Can we try and find those Hastings? I mean, Hast the Battle of Hastings in 1066. We can <laughs> we're somewhere between. We're somewhere on the road between uh, the UK, where the Battle of Hastings happened, and uh, downtown Melbourne. Okay, so they, they beat us. I should have just gone downtown Melbourne because that's the info we had. The others, oh, they found Dandandong. Ah. This is throwing me for a loop. Let's move. This looks very European. Very European. Oh, it looks so foresty. Good shish. Is that Polish? It's a lot of S's and Z's. Just preemptively put ourselves Poland. Like, I always think back, I'm an Arsenal fan, the football club, and they're, well, he plays for Juventus now, I think, as a goalkeeper, but there's the player called Chesney, and it's like S said, S C said. E said NY, I think is his name. <laughs> so, like, that's what I think of, and he's a Polish player. <laughs> like, oh, it's Poland. Debno, this looks very Polish to me. I'm just gonna guess. I'm not gonna take the time to look for those, because I want to throw them off. This is prob. I mean, honestly, you see people everywhere on the internet have a sort of Japanese-inspired nickname, but I was like, maybe if this guy's Japanese... We have an advantage when it comes to Europe. That was my thinking, so I wanted to go quickly. This looks Sweden-y. This looks definitely very much like it could be Sweden. I feel like I've had to travel through this before. When going like slightly further north in Sweden. And it's just endless woods with nothing. Like when you see the local sort of like restaurant where they serve um, chocolate milk and... Uh, Sausage, like hot dogs, that's like the most civilization you'll see for the next 100 kilometers, <laughs> pretty much, <laughs> when you're in the middle of this. Honestly, this looks like so much like Sweden, but also like the fauna and stuff. It looks like this is taken during like early fall in fairly far north Sweden. Oh god, they've guessed. Oh, jeez. I would put ourselves, like, here somewhere. Maybe slightly further north. It's not that mountainous. <sighs> Honestly, it could be down here. It's, mm, there's too many birch trees. I think it's... Wow. Did they see a language? Because, I mean, obviously, Sweden, Finland, <laughs> very similar uh, in terms of just the environment. Did they see a language? This is, like, a Swedish thing. Are we actually in Sweden this time? Or are we not? This looks very... Not like Sweden anymore. I need some road signs, guys. Please. Infrastructure me. Infrastructure it up. Yeah, this doesn't... This looks like Eastern Europe, I think. Could it be like Li Latvia or Lithuania? Well, honestly, kind of looks like it could be like Ukraine or Russia even. But I need, I need a language to help me out with that. I think this is Lithuanian. Uh, I'm going to put ourselves in between Kaunas and Vilnius. Vilnius. 
I don't think there's any point in trying to look for those specific small towns. Yeah, okay. We're in northern Lithuania. Oh, that's already... That's a big amount of points. I think it's the healing round now, though. Yeah. We probably want to, like, just get a scan and then guess as quickly as possible. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know where this could be. That's Spanish. Where's the sun? Let's just go off where the sun is. Sun is in the north. We're in Uruguay. Screw it. Honestly, it could be true. It could be Uruguay. Yellow midline. Everything is light blue, which is sort of in their national flag. So they, I still have some healing to be done, but they have... Oh my god. It was really good. That was a really good chance they got to healing. Okay, very square. Are we in the you no? Know, are we in the north? In the North America? Oh, it's it's winter. Rosheim Road. Driving on the right. Guildhall Road. Sun is in the south, so we are in the northern hemisphere. Are we in Canada? But Canada's so big, and the Amer America is as well, obviously. We just have to figure out which part of America we're at. Diana's Oyster Grill and Bar. Deluxe paints? Or Dulux? Yes, please. Yellow midline. I think that's both Canada and the US, though, so it doesn't really help me much. Uh, let's see if there's any, like, Tim Hortons or something. Like, some famous, like, orthodontist, free consults. <laughs> that's either a religion or a dentist. <laughs> it's one or the other. Maybe it's both. Wouldn't, be, wouldn't surprise me if the Americans are combining... Dentistry and and religious service seems like something they would do. Pharmacy, Wexford Heights Pharmacy, your wellness destination. Built in 2050. That's how far ahead of us they are. Somewhere between Toronto and like Detroit. I don't know. <laughs> we were we were really close to Toronto. We're in gold though. <laughs> 